Mic check. Hello. Mic check, mic check. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. How y'all doing? There we go, we're live. Welcome everyone. Travis, Michael, Josie, Finks, Christian, Funny Clip Centrals, Top Cat, Finks, Electro Rep, uh, Hinke, Chris, Snow Wolf, Matthew, Mohand, Richard, Dennis, Martin, Ian, Brandon. Welcome everyone, what's up? Hope you're all doing good. Hope you are all good. So I've got my chat over this side, so it might seem like I'm being awkward, but I promise I'm not. Hey, Paul Daniels. How's it going, dude? You big, beautiful bastard. <laughs> Welcome, mate. Welcome. Hope you're all doing good. Uh, who else we got? Uh, hmm. Uh, I've lost where I was. Um... Richard, Denny, Martin, Ian, Brandon, Mr. PD. Uh, what are you cooking tonight? I was thinking Xboxes with a side of Nintendo Switches and Playstations for dessert. <laughs> How does that sound, mate? Can you fix my marriage again, please? Yeah, send her over, mate. I'll sort her out. <laughs> send her over. Big score. Welcome, mate. Uh, Callum, good evening. Matthew... <clears throat> I'm doing good, mate. Thanks. How are you, Jamie? What's being broken tonight? My heart. My heart. Yeah, I'm good. Thanks, Mohand. Hey, Gibbo, my little Pokemon. Marshall, welcome. Ant, Ellis, Ian. Uh, please say OLED. Nah, not tonight. Nah, tonight. Uh, Greg, Maverick. Waiting on an M92 for your first Nintendo Switch repair. Nice. Capture short above the chip. Took the chip off short, went. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that, that should fix it then, mate. Yeah. That should fix it. Cartha, welcome, mate. Hi, Phil. I'm the brain dead fool that sent you an email and filled out a ticket for a laptop. I'm still trying to get Roma to pick up as I'm housebound. No worries, mate. No worries at all. I'm good, thanks, uh, Slavoma. Slavomir? I think it's Slavomir. <laughs> I think it's it. I think it is. Uh, Wolves Highway. How are we going, mate? Right, should we just get to a repair instead of looking at my ugly mug sideways? Let's just get to a repair. Oh, damn. Look at how dirty my desk is. Oh, no. No. We must go mad at the coder because his desk's dirty. No. No. Disgusting. Alright, <laughs> I'll behave. No, it's disgusting. <clears throat> uh, yeah, so welcome everyone. Hope you're all doing good. Michael, welcome, mate. Oh, some stuff in the back wall wood. What do you mean, mate? Adam, welcome. You got it, yep. <laughs> Charles, welcome. Adam, Michael S, welcome. What's the best brand thermal paste? I'll get MX4, mate, if I were you. Right, if you may notice, as I started the stream, the TV was on, but no one was home. <laughs> the TV was on, but there was no display. Um, that's because this Xbox has got no display, which is kind of typical. It's an Xbox. <laughs> Anyone that was watching last night, um, I did an Xbox Series X last thing where I replaced uh, a Nexus connector, uh, which is the connector that goes on the power button. So, anyone that was on Twitch last night, you'll see that I replaced this connector here. Um, this is from the same customer. So he sent two, he sent this, and he sent an Xbox Series X. Um, Midlife Lab, been a member for five months. Welcome, mate. Just did a DS Lite restoration, put a special edition Mario shell on it, looks awesome. Nice, man. 
Also a DS, DSi XL charging port. Mate, you're a braver man than me. I won't touch DSs. <laughs> I won't touch them. <laughs> yeah, you're a braver man than me even attempting it, mate. Fair play, though. Live indeed. Oh, shit, we're not even recording. Damn. Uh, not that it matters. This probably won't make a video, but, you know. It's always good to be recording just in case. Um... You know, I might need to cover my own ass or something. Bought an Xbox One S the other day. Apparently it was repaired. HDMI port wasn't even sold and on the pins loose as hell. Free controller too. Nice, dude. And Jessica, welcome. Uh, yeah, I'm good, thanks, Jess. Hope you're doing well, mate. Mr. Ed Boss, welcome. Hello. Fix the water damage, fat PS4, and it has a white light of death. Is there any other chip that can cause no display other than the HDMI encoder? Um, yeah, so if it's not, if it's not displaying and it's a white light of death, first thing to check is try and get it into safe mode. Uh, so press and hold the power button. And if it doesn't go into safe mode, then you could have what's known as a phantom white light of death, where uh, something's happening with the solder balls under the APU. Sometimes you can just ultrasonic clean it and it'll work. If it's, if it's been liquid damage, that could be what's happening. Or it could be something to do with the safe bridge as well. If the safe bridge isn't putting out 5 volts on one of the rails, then that can cause a white light of death as well. So it could be the safe bridge. The Jinxinator. Damn, dude. Welcome. Been a while, mate. Been a while. Looking for a PS5 for you, some for Christmas. Any ideas if it's worth giving a second hand one? Hold that thought, because I have bought one, um, which I'm attempting to... Fix. Um, it depends on the condition, really. But hold that thought because I have bought one. So if you're looking to get a second hand one, if you've got a few days that you can wait, then yeah. Um, <clears throat> because I will sell one cheaper than what eBay will if it's a private sale as well. Because obviously there's no fees and stuff like that. So yeah, Sarah and the kids and the cat cats are doing good. Thanks, Jess. Hello, Sarah. When I try to wick the solder, never comes onto the wick. Is solder iron hot enough? Do you use flux with it? Um, it could be the wick as well. It depends what wick you're using. Someone said, evening gentlemen. I can't obviously can't pronounce the name, but good evening. Hello. Steve C, welcome. Uh, right, anyway. Yeah, anyway. Yeah, so this has got no display. I have tested it on uh, the TV, but the port's a little bit loose as well. So, yeah, it could just be very well be the port. But as you can see, that actually come out really, really easy. Like, really easy. I'm putting barely any pressure on that. I shouldn't be able to actually like, push that cable in just like that. I'm just trying to do that with the input port is a lot tighter so that could very well just be the cause but it's actually been booked in as glitching display let's have a look at the port under the scope first of all no you are not going to drop no that is naughty that is naughty you are not going to drop Ooh, the port don't look great, does it? Port don't look great. So you can see the difference between the input and output port. So it could be that what's causing no display. I think that needs changing. So, hopefully a nice simple one to start with. Hopefully a nice simple one to start with. But we'll see. I'm good, thanks Chris. How are you, mate? Watching your videos for the last year or so has given me the confidence to take on the 792 switch repair. I've learned a lot. Awesome, dude. Awesome. That is the, uh, the, the aim of the channel, mate. So I'm glad the, mel I'm glad the videos help you. Trust me, if I can do it, anyone can. I've got no qualifications. I'm not trained in any way. 
trust me, if I can do it, anyone can do it. I learned literally by watching YouTube videos, that is it. So, yeah. <clears throat> let, that, let that be a lesson to you, pal. <laughs> hey. Can you give... Can you give my friend a shout out, please? Yeah. Hello to Scouse Phil. <laughs> you won't get me like that, my friend. But that being said, how does this guy know that my cock's small? Sarah, what have you been telling him? That's a secret. <laughs> oh, Chewy Scroodies. Chewy Scroodies. Chewy Scroodies. Travis did it the prick. Well, according to G Force, Travis didn't do it. <laughs> Fucking dogs, yeah. <laughs> I had to try. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, my friend, I vet comments before I read them. <laughs> Recommendations on cheap microscope to start out with. What's your budget, mate? What kind of budget are you thinking? <clears throat> I thought having mini cocks was. Mini cocks was a new and popular thing. Yeah, well, that's what I tell myself to make myself get through the day anyway. <laughs> it's kind of disheartening when you go to the toilet and you have to use a magnifying glass just to have a piss. <laughs> Hundred to one fifty-ish. Um, hmm, difficult one. Uh, maybe look at something like the Anden Star. Um, if you want to go digital, but if you want to go, if you want to go optical, to be fair, AliExpress have got some pretty good setups for that kind of price. Right, this console just does not look great at all, does it? It don't look in great condition. Bless you, server. Crash and burn, welcome. <laughs> Magnifying glass and trees is, yep. My cock is trending. <laughs> Duma, welcome, mate. MT8, uh, MTB. Paul Daniels, the legend, yep. Paul Daniels, the legend. Might have to use Mr. Paul Daniels' software in a bit so I can fix uh, MacBook. I've got an A1708 I need to get done with no power. No power! Scoot, how's it going? I started I was having to use the macro on my camera and taking photos after I thought I had sold what I needed to. Yeah, mate, I've been there as well. <laughs> yeah, I actually used to use my phone as a microscope. I used to download, well, I downloaded an app, but I've actually like, turned it into like a macro camera sort of thing uh, on my S9, I think it was. My Samsung S9, and it worked really well. I used to do HDMI ports with it. I'll just use that on a tripod for a while. Oh. Alex, thank you, mate. I appreciate the support, buddy. Thank you. Mucho gracias, señor. I'll say Alex as if it's a guy's name, but Alex isn't a guy's name, is it? So, thank you, Alex. I appreciate it. Gracias. <laughs> it 
it's unisex. It is. It is indeed. <clears throat> This ain't good. That sync button is broken. Yeah, that sync button's well broken. Well, do I? I'm pretty sure they said something about this on the ticket. I'm sure there was something about the front USB and sync button on the ticket, like on a handwritten note. I'll have to double check that, but. I'm almost sure it mentioned it, so... Yeah, I'll double check it, but I'm sure it did say it. Hey DC, welcome. Broken connector, yeah. These are always getting broken, mate. You know what it is? It's when people screw them back in, they use an electric screwdriver, they screw one in without supporting this. Like, so they'll, they'll, they'll clip it in, they'll say, yeah, it's clipped in, it's nice, it's cool. They'll use something like this and they'll screw it in and it'll just send it flying. Like, it'll, I've actually done it myself once before, but that's how they get broken. Either that or people just forget that they're there and then they'll go to lift it off and you eat the frigging thing. So, but it always takes traces with it. Did you get more consoles in? Yeah, I, I got six more from Console Repair London. Six more from Console Repair London. Guys, we've actually figured out what is causing the triple beep of death on PS5s, by the way. Video coming soon for that, but a little heads up. It's a seriously easy fix. It's so easy, you don't need a microscope, you don't need a, a um, soldering iron, multimeter. All you need is a screwdriver. All you need is a screwdriver. It's a seriously easy fix. I'll be making a video soon. Shout out to Phil's a cunt. Yeah, Phil's a cunt, yeah. <laughs> At least I identify as such. <laughs> nice. First ever HDMI I did rip off two traces. Mate, we've all been there. We've all been there. Listen, I ripped off traces on a HDMI port a couple of months ago. Okay? So, don't even worry about it. That was on a Series X. I got distracted. We all do it. Ooh, hard drive's been changed before. That will explain the ripped traces on the sync button. I'm actually wondering if this is economically viable, to be honest. Between the sink, oh lovely, that snapped as well. Well, wow, this is definitely a console that's seen better days, isn't it? This console's definitely seen better days. What's wrong with that console? Uh, I've found a few things so far. So far, the Sync button connector's been damaged. It's got no display. Um, I mean, the case is all scratched up and mangled. You can only learn from your mistakes. Yep. Suggested me a good multimeter. Suggest a good multimeter. Um, go for the Kaiweet. K-A-I-W-E-E-T-S. Let me get a link. Hang on. Uh, it's a smart multimeter. It's really good. Um, let me get a link on Amazon. So it's a KM601. This is an affiliate link, so if you use this link, I'll get a little bit of a kickback. 
と。There you go. There you go. You've got to be kidding me. It's been liquid metalled. Has it been to, has it been protected? Uh no. Uh no. It's been liquid metal modded. And it hasn't been protected. How is this even turning on? How is this even turning on right now? Huh. Ouch. That's all I'm going to say to that is ouch. Oh, eat shit microscope. I genuinely don't understand why people need to liquid metal these. Oh, stop it, microscope. Oh, for God's sake, you've got to be kidding me. What the hell is going on with this? Hang on. Give me a minute. I think it's time for new cables, guys, because my overhead camera was doing this last night. Yeah, I just don't understand why people actually need to liquid metal these. They don't gain any benefit from it at all. All you're doing is risking damaging your console with these. Yeah, it's 10.50 p.m. Yeah. Uh, well, no, the, the heatsink on these is, is actually copper, so that's not a problem. But you are risking damage to the console. All right, let's have a look at the HDMI. Hmm. Doesn't look great, does he? Beardy Miss, welcome. Nicholas, welcome. Is that bridged? Uh, I don't think it's bridged. It's certainly close. Oh. Well, that's not connected good, is it? Yeah.
Yeah, this port one boozled. Ah, there we go. Now we're getting to the bottom of this look. Yep. Now we're getting to the bottom of it. All right. Okie dokie. That port is knackered. And on top of that, we also have uh, damaged traces on the port. Right, bit of duct tape being good as new, yeah. Robert, how's it going, mate? John Gray, welcome. All right, let's remove this port. I've got my hot air set at 480 degrees Celsius. At 60% airflow. Port's not even on straight. Heat it up and make a hundred percent sure that it's definitely melted. To get in there. Okay. Okie doke. Right, so we have three missing traces and all three of those are required. That's going to explain the no display. That's going to explain the no display. All right. I've got a feeling this was dropped. Actually, no, I don't know. This is probably just technician damage. Given the uh, connector as well. Given the connector as well on the uh, sync connector, I'm going to say it's probably a bit more than te uh, just drop damage. It's probably just tech damage.
Uh, so just replace the solder with leaded solder there. Right, I need my fume extractor. I forgot to put it on. <coughs> there we go. Fume extractor on. From the grey state of Maine. Welcome, mate. Oh, it's uh, Xbox uh, One X. Xbox One X. I should do what Mr. Paul Daniels does and uh, put like a text info box down below with what I'm working on. Isn't that just so satisfying, look, doing that? That's more satisfying though. All righty. All righty. Let's run some jumpers. Hey Paul, how's it going mate? Safe, how's it going? TM Trader, welcome. Welcome, 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 Jason. Uh, looking for a four port KVM to share keyboard video most of four for four PCs and monitor. I gave up after seeing the crap out there. And what's on sale is a passing off as KVM. Yeah. Yeah. You're not far wrong, mate. Right then, laddie. Mark, thank you, mate. Thank you, dude. Yeah, the family are good, buddy. Thank you for the dono. I really appreciate that, mate. I'll... Alerts should be working. Why are alerts not working? Ah, there we go. Thank you, buddy. I really appreciate that. Thanks for the support, mate. Yeah, the family are doing good, bud. I hope you're all well as well. Of 
course. Right. Scrape back some of that conformal coating or solder mask. Whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Having booted withdrawals. Is he not on, is he? I haven't, um, I haven't noticed. I haven't checked, actually, to be honest. I usually check towards the end of the stream. Right, there we go. Right, so just tin, tin them uh, exposed traces. And then I can run some jumpers. Tin my wire. Damn it. God damn freaking wire. Better. It is better. Right, I've lost my tub with my uh, blades in. Where have I put it? Ah, there it is. There it is. Whoops, forgot that my uh, solder was in the way there. Stop it, microscope. Stop it, microscope. I will move that jumper wire slightly in a second 
Doctor into Wobby. Did you manage to find a Series X encoder? No, not yet. Not yet. Oh, damn it. Wow, why is my solder not bonding? What the hell is going on with my freaking microscope? What is going on tonight? Like, seriously? I swear, if this microscope doesn't quit it, Well, I'm going to switch to USB in a second, guys. I don't know what's going on with it. Yeah, Travis probably did break it. He's a prick like that. Right, I'm switching to USB. Right, that's it. Now I've had enough. Now you're gonna piss me off. Now you're really gonna piss me off. Ah, oh, damn it, I haven't even got the right USB here. Ah, oh, fuck. Rip. I haven't even got the right USB here, guys. I just realised it's USB Type-A, and I haven't got one here. It's Type-A to Type-A, damn it. Well, I'll have to deal with it in a minute, then, I guess. For God's sake. Wait, is it the... It's not the cable. It might actually be the capture card that's causing that. Oh, for God's sake.
Yeah, I'm thinking maybe software related. I'll have to deal with it once I've run these jumpers. It's really distracting though, because I can see it out of my peripheral vision. So it's just really, really distracting. Well, I'm thinking some sort of software conflict. I'm going to want to install the drivers in a minute for the capture card. Thing is, it was the other camera that was doing it yesterday, the um, the overhead. So the overhead was doing it yesterday, the, and this one's doing it today. Like the microscope's doing it today. Stop it microscope seriously because you're really starting to piss me off. Maybe turn the uh, resolution down, let me try that. I've turned the resolution down to, oh for fuck's sake, nope, that ain't fixed it. really distracting and I can't concentrate on this. Well, I'll position that one in a second. God damn it. You know what? Yeah. 
Eat shit. Get off. Get off my board. Get off my board. Now I'm wondering if that's a power issue. Because that wasn't flickering until I used that hot air. I'm wondering if something is causing some sort of power issue. Some sort of power conflict of some sort, I don't know. I think I've got some sort of power issue on mains power, to be honest. Hmm. Hmm. But that wouldn't make a lot of sense because I haven't changed anything. Oh, for fuck's sake. All right, now he's doing it again. Nothing at all has changed, like, hang on, right, I'm going to turn this bench supply off and turn it back on, hang on. Right, give it a minute. Give it a minute, <clears throat> just let this reinitialize. Right, I've just I've just adjusted the bench power supply and then reset everything. Like reset the power supplies. So the microscope gets powered from the bench power supply. So I'm wondering if it's some sort of, maybe some sort of interference, I don't know. Right. Talking of issues, this jumper wire. Needs to stop being a little bitch. You're gonna work, Mr. Jumper Wire. You're going to work and you're going to be happy. That's not flickering at the minute, is it?
Right. Michael, been a member for four months. Cheers, mate. Thank you. I have a bucket of traces if you need some. <laughs> ah, I just dropped my fucking tweezers, I know that much. Damn it. That survived. Just about. Whoops. Right, so I'm just shaping these wires at the minute. Trying to keep them roughly the same size, just because they are data lines, and they, the, according to the spec sheet for uh, DisplayPort and HDMI, they have to be. I think it's between. I think it's around about three millimeters. Look, it can't be any more than three millimeters difference in between each trace, or in between each differential pair. So, we do have to take trace length and shape into account when running these jumper wires. Just going to add some conformal coating. So this will just glue it down and hold it all into place. Make sure it doesn't move when I use hot air or the soldering iron. Right. Proper expert with those tweezers. Yeah, I've had a lot of experience in my life, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 
possible to restore a HDMI trace with conductive paint? Not on these. Um, the problem, pro, right, flash of light coming, guys. I'll eat shit. The problem with these is, with conductive paint, the resistance is, but the, the resistance difference between between conductive paint and this, like a jumper wire, is massive. A like conductive paint has a, has a big resistance difference, so for anything that's resistance sensitive, it wouldn't work. Yeah, you can, but anything resistance, like anything that is dependent on a specific resistance, it isn't going to work. Safety squints, yeah. Oh yeah, we always learn something new, mate. Yeah, so if you measure the resistance on conductive paint, it's going to be different to jumper wire. Coming to give it a tan. You're not even joking, mate. This, I actually burnt my hand with this the other day. As in, like, a, a sunburn with this um, UV light. This UV light is dangerous. Like, that is no joke. This UV light I've got here, in terms of exposure to skin, it's dangerous. Like, it's physically dangerous. No, it's 300, 395 nanometre, uh, but it's just incredibly bright. I mean, that's pretty much sealed anyway. Like, oh, eat shit camera. Yeah, I mean, that's the furthest I can reach with this cable, but because it uses um, 5 volt cable. Like, he, he, like the distance on this is just unreal. Like honestly, it's just absolutely unreal. It's ridiculous. Like I can, if I put that on my skin, I can from there I can feel the heat. Like, that's no joke. I can feel the heat on my skin from there. It's incredibly powerful. Incredibly powerful. Right. No longer PVC. <laughs> oh, vampire blaster ain't the word, mate. Actually, there's a good word for it. I'm stealing that one, mate. I'm going to call it a vampire blaster in future. Hashtag sorry, bro, but all your sayings be mine. Ha. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, Flos Bro Flofsky, how's it going, mate? I hope you're doing good. Phil loves a gimp suit. <laughs> Moving on. Ow. Wow, I'll just move my neck and it really fucking hurt. Ow. All right. Right then, laddie. Right then, laddie. I actually need... Because I've lost the... Uh, I've lost the filter I've just took off this to run the jumper wire, so I'm going to have to grab a donut.
Ah, you son of a... Guess I should turn my hot air down, well, my airflow down to 20%. This doesn't have to be directly level, these pads are continuous. But these pads have continuity, but... You know... I'm not a fan of running them from there, but, you know, whatever works and all of that stuff. That'll do it, I hope. Oh, I sure as hell hope so. Right, let's grab a replacement port. Just grab a replacement. I'm going to hang the board over the edge of the table again. So I'm going to I'm going to reinstall this port the same way that I took it off. But before I do that. I'm just going to run the iron over the pins, just to tin them. Just because I've got a jump a while there, and it, I want to give it a, the best chance it's got of making a good contact. So no nozzle, 480 degrees Celsius, 60% airflow.
Give this a few more seconds to make sure it flows fully. Press and hold. That'll do, I think. Right, let's just bring this back onto the bench. All right, it's not. It's not absolutely perfectly aligned, but three months, let's go. Thank you, dude. I appreciate that, mate. Thank you. Mucho gracias. Yeah, it's not perfectly aligned. And I think I need to touch a few of these pins up. <clears throat> hope the chip isn't blown as well. I hope so, yeah. The worst thing is I've still got to do the um, sync button. I need to confirm first of all that it actually mentioned the sync button. I'm sure it did. Oi, Mr. Solderbridge.
I think there's just ever so slightly too much solder on this. Mm -hmm. uh, nom nom nom. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hey. Wakey, wakey, Mr. Soldering Iron. That's better. Quick while you're ahead. Yep, I need to stop being so damn fussy with these things sometimes, to be honest. Am I ahead though? Because I can see what I believe to be a bridge. That be a bridge. Not anymore. Right. Continue with it. 19 and 18, little bridge further up. You might be right there, mate. Let's double check. Yep. That got it. Cool. No more bridges there. Let's go diode mode. I'm going to listen for a beep to check for a connection on that one, that one, and that one. Yep. Yep, all of those are connected. Cool. Every pin is soldered. Every pin is soldered. That will do me.
Cool. Sweet. What are you going to do with that liquid metal? Um, I don't know. Um, hmm. I don't know because the customers actively put that on there or they've paid someone to do it. Hmm. That's a good question, to be honest. They've paid someone to do it, but I can't warranty it. That's the problem. I can't warranty it for liquid metal. Hmm. They collect liquid metal. <laughs> yeah, I cannot warranty the liquid metal. But the problem is, it's going to cause issues. The way it is. Um, I think leave it as it is. I don't really want to touch it. I've cleaned it up. I do not want to touch it. Because I don't want to get in trouble with the customer. But. I am going to need to. Protect it. Because I'm the last one to mess with this. It's going to come a point where this liquid metal is going to cause an issue. Um, because I'm the last one to touch it, I'm going to get blamed when something goes wrong because that's the way the customer works not this customer in particular I don't mean that I mean just customers in general that's the way they work right. you as the last one to touch it you're responsible and even though I would you know I'm not technically responsible I could I could argue my case and just say and just point blank refuse to do anything about it if it failed it's not really good for customer relations is it and not only that it's just not worth a freaking headache so I may as well just take care of it as a goodwill gesture sort of thing Add a load of conformal coating around the APU, prevent it from causing any issue in the future. Or do my best to prevent it from causing any issue in the future. And sleep soundly. There we go. Did it end up back in your shop for overheating? Yeah. A little artist paintbrush. I've got some, mate. Make the IP here, yeah. You got it.
this just covers my own back. Like, I mean, it's, it's not even covering my own back. I'm not responsible for the liquid metal, but like, I'm not the one who's done the liquid metal, but because I'm the last one who touched it, it the way the customer mindset works is, if I'm the last one who touched it, then I must have broken it when it does eventually fail. So if I just protect it now, then I'm not going to have any headache in the future. So five minutes now is going to save me two hours, three hours later. Right. Because now that's not going to cause any issues. Or it shouldn't. It shouldn't cause any issues. It shouldn't cause any issues. Keyword there though, of course, being it shouldn't. I still won't warrant to you if this splatters anywhere, like in the future. Every time I've every time I've done a liquid metal mod for someone, it's been on the understanding that you get absolutely no warranty. But they know that up front. Like if someone says to me, like I don't offer it as a service, but if if someone brings it into me and says, "Oh, can you while you're fixing this, can you do a liquid metal mod for it?" I'll say, "Yeah," but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna warranty for you. Like you want me to do a liquid metal mod? It's gonna be fifty quid, and you get no warranty. So, yeah. It's going to cost you 50 quid and you're not going to get a warranty off me. Because I don't know what you heard about me. But this bitch ain't going to get no warranty. <laughs> I would advise the customer, oh, the customer's going to know. I'm going to tell the customer before they pay. I'm going to say, look, I'm not warrantying this. Like, well, I'll warranty my work. I'm not warrantying the liquid metal. Like, I haven't I haven't offered this as a service. All I've done is done my best to protect it. So I'm not going to warranty the liquid metal. Like, they'll get a warranty on the job. But... In terms of liquid metal, if this gets back to, the, back to the customer and he's had liquid metal spilt all over it and the customer sends it back to me, like if that liquid metal splattered out outside of the APU and the customer comes and brings it back to me and says it's not working, then no. They're going to have to pay for it, unfortunately. Which sounds really, really bad, but it's just the way it is because you, these are not designed for liquid metal at all. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't offer a warranty on that. Like everything else, yes. If it, if it, um, if I, if it goes back with no display, uh, if it goes back with a working display and then the display doesn't work, then yes, I'll warranty that. I'll cover that under warranty. But that's about it. You know, anything else? It is what it is. Do 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 do. Light up. <laughs> How's it going, Kev? Please stop singing. Mm, I could. I could. Or I could serenade you with love songs. I could serenade you with love songs. 
Boom. Oi, dickhead. Capture card. Stop being a cunt. Thank you. Boom. Right. Switch over that for a second. <laughs> nah, please don't do that. Ah. But why? But why? Why must you disappoint me? <laughs> you can only sing ginger music. Ha! <laughs> Nickel plating isn't nickel conductive. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it is. Right. Beauty about the Xbox is you can hot swap Wi Fi cards. Ha! Right, well, we have a display, and that does look like it is no longer glitching. Or rather, it looks like it's not glitching, which is cool. Pretty cool. Let me just uh, grab a USB because I haven't got the sync button. I'm almost sure he says something on the ticket about the sync button, but I will have to double check. Hmm. Okay, that was weird. Right, let me just log out of the account. And then I can... Oh, the game capture. There we go. That looks pretty good to me. Good way to get the dust out of it, the top of a PS5 without taking it apart. No, there is no real way, mate. That looks pretty good to me. Right, it's not going to work in 4K. Don't know why I'm trying it. It's not going to work in 4K on the uh, capture card. It never, ever does, all right? It never, ever does. It never ever does. But hey ho, it's working. Oh, I ain't got a clue, Civil. Not a clue, dude. Not a clue. Right, well. I think I'll call that a win. Blue. I think I'll call that a win. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go grab a cup of coffee and I'm going to check that paperwork and just see what it actually says on it. But I'm pretty sure it mentions the sync button connector. So yeah, give me two minutes guys and girls. I'm going to go grab a cup of coffee. What is a liquid metal mod? Uh, it's where they... Um, it's where people put liquid metal onto it instead of thermal paste. Top tier repair. Cheers, dude. So, yeah, give me a minute. I'm going to go grab a cup of coffee. Eat into the copper heat sinks. No, it don't eat into copper. It does not eat into copper. It eats into aluminium. It doesn't eat into copper. It's absolutely fine on copper, which is why it's fine on the PS5. It, it kind of tarnishes it, but it's fine. Coffee, just milk, thank you. Coming up. But well, I'll be back in a minute, guys and girls.
Rightio. I'm back. Sorry about that, guys. <coughs> I was busting for the toilet as well. Yep, yeah, that guy's banned. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. See ya. Don't come back. I'm good, thanks, James. How are you, mate? Who got banned? Someone calling all repair guys a junkie. Apparently we're all junkies. So, ha, bye bye. Bye bye. Get kicked, bitch. See ya. Don't come back. <laughs> Daring to come back in a rush. Thank you for being a friend. In the words of Snake off the Simpsons. Boy. I'm not a junkie, they go to meetings. <laughs> right, he did mention about the sync button connector, so we are going to have to get that fixed as well, I guess. Let's have a look at the damage. Let's have a look at the damage. Looks like I missed some drama. Not drama, just someone being a dick. Trying to get this uh, trying to get this in focus. There we go. People hit the like, it's free. Thank you, dude. When did all repair to technicians become a junkie? Today apparently. All right, this isn't that bad, to be fair. Um, yeah, that's not too bad, really. We've got literally two missing traces, and we only need to restore... Three missing traces, and we only need to restore one on this. Um, let me just... Uh, all right, it's in focus for you guys. I just need to get it in focus for me. There you go, that'll do. Snake's one of my favourite characters. Yep, yeah, I'm mine. Right, so the reason we only need to restore one is because these, if you look here, these two are connected together and these two are connected together. So that pad is not needed, so I'm not going to worry about that. And one of these pads are not needed, so I'm not going to worry about that. In fact... None of these are really needed. But actually, you're saying that they might be needed on the other side, so I'm going to restore them anyway. Because they might be needed on the other side. And I want to make sure... Because one could be for... I don't know the pinouts of these. I haven't looked at the schematic. But one could be for... like Let's say, for example, 
USB power and the other one could be for sync button power so I'm going to restore them anyway, stuff it. I'll restore them anyway. I mean it's three traces, it's not, it's not a massive amount. They might be needed on the other side of the connector, so... Yeah, let's just get it restored fully, shall we? It's been a minute since I've done one of these. Like It's been quite a while since I've done one of these sync button connectors. Right then. Beep. bridge the pins uh, you actually could that is a good point but I'd rather do it if I can I'd rather do it properly Do be do do do. Two super chat at three dollars and twenty cents. Bro, did you see the message from Drops at all? Uh I didn't. Let me have a look. Thank you for the super chat, mate. Let me have a look.
Oh, I can't see it. Let me search for it. Hang on. Been watching your videos for a while. I'm an electronic engineer based in Scotland. I'm looking for someone who can take some work off me. I do remind. I'll go to hit you up. Yeah, give me a call tomorrow, mate. Um, let me let me phone. Let me paste my phone number. I need to. Um, seven five two one. Right, I will paste my number. Uh, yeah, give me a call tomorrow, mate, after 10 a.m. Um, after 10 before 5, so 10 till 5, that number will be active. Uh, that's my work number. Give me a call tomorrow, mate, and we'll, we'll sort something out. Didn't think you saw it. I didn't, mate. Thank you for that. I appreciate that. Sam, how's it going, mate? Right, let's get some conformal coaching on that.
There we go. There we go. Just let that cure. Do be do do do. Right, bit of heat and it should be good. There we go. Don't so don't be a fool. It didn't leak anyone, it's my work number. Right, there we go. Cheers, gosh. Thank you, mate. Um, no worries, uh, Grazza. No worries, mate. How's it going, uh, Chris? Did you give that Series X on... Uh Taking vape juice and royal telling off. Uh, well, I spoke to his uncle. His uncle was laughing. Because uh, um, I told him that I told everyone to slag him off. <laughs> right. Let me grab... Let's see what the condition of the sink button that's already here is. Let's see if it's reusable. Uh, yeah, I would say it actually is. I would say that's reusable if I can get it out of the uh, if I can get it out of the connector. It's a big if. Right. Uh, 
That looks reusable to me. Cool. If yeah. Is that a piece of wire hanging out on the connector? Uh, no, it's just uh, a scratch on the board, mate. It's fine. If that's what you're referring to there. No, nah, it's just a scratch on the board. It's all good. It's all gravy. Right, that's pretty much lined up. So now, well, like a dick, I've left uh, I've left the fan connected up. That's got to be removed because I need to heat up from underneath the board. Same deal as with the HDMI port on this now, just heat up from the bottom. There's nothing really sensitive on the other side, so we don't need to worry. Hey, micro repairs. Long time now, see you, mate. No worries, Mark. Cheers for hanging out, um, buddy. I really appreciate it, mate, and thank you for the support. Genuinely appreciate it, bud. All right. Give that a clean.
Mm, it's not sitting flat on the one side. It's not sitting flat. So... Press down on the uh, connector while I heat it up. Slightly turn it at the same time. Thinking that might out. Mm, it should be okay. It should be all right. Uh, what got me into repairs? Uh, to be honest, if you want the truth, it's a bit of a boring answer, but I needed money. <laughs> um, that's the genuine truth. I needed money, and I couldn't get a job. Yeah. 
He's having no connect pin. I think they're all connected. I think they're all connected. They look connected to me. It all looks connected to me. We'll see. I'll just test it. Um, for this to be successful, we need sync button working and we need it to read a USB device and also sync a controller through the USB as well. So, we will see in a minute. Damn it. If you can't get a job, create one. Yep, yeah, that was pretty much it, mate. Um, I mean, I was... I was watching, you know, people like Lewis Rossman and... stuff like that already. So, I... just kind of fell into it. I wanted to do it anyway, but I just kind of fell into it because I was uh, I was in need of money. I needed a way to earn money, and when you've got no qualifications, options are quite limited, to be honest. Yeah, I needed money and couldn't get a job because I had a neck injury. Or rather, I couldn't find a job because of a neck injury, should I say. Right, bear with me a sec. Cheers, Gaza. Thank you, mate. Uh, to be fair, I mean, I was learning anyway, but not for any, well, I, I wanted to do it, but I didn't ever see it being a, like, I didn't see myself doing it on YouTube or anything like that, let's put it that way. Like, it was just one of them things, it was like a happy accident. Um, I couldn't get a, I couldn't, well, I couldn't find a job because I had a neck injury. My, um, my neck was really, really bad and I ended up, being out of work because of it. That was because of um, a car crash. I ended up being out of work. But it was a happy accident because it certainly made my life a lot better and it's made my family's life a lot better as well. Oh, it's uh, <laughs> this is actually a kitchen, um, a kitchen baking mat. But you know what? It's super heat resistant. It's super heat resistant, mate. Right. So I'm just gonna put some of this back together. Where's my other silver screw gone? 
Where? Where are you? Where are ya? I guess this is what happens when I've got screws just laying on the freaking desk. Oh, there it is. Right. Now I can hook up the uh, the ribbons. Let's just clean this because this is filthy. Oh, by the way, if I'm not seeing chat, it's not that I'm ignoring anyone. It's just because it's off to the side, so I can't actually see it. That ribbon cable is mangled, <laughs> and I do not have another one to hand. Well, I actually do, but I'm not going to change it because that costs money. Right, that clips in nicely. Like I said, for this to be considered successful, we need uh, the sync button needs to work and front USB needs to work as well. Just while I'm waiting for that to boot up, I'm just going to pop some more screws in. Yeah, it will stay on the board. Like that, that if that's uh, as long as that's not um, yanked off, I'll take it off in a minute just to show you it will. Let me just test to make sure it's working first. Um, right, I need to go to Studio Mode a second just so I can log out because auto login set to true. <laughs> uh, right, so I'll sign out and then I'll just skip signing. There we go. Right, okay. Front USB. Let's grab a USB. Let's grab a USB. Any USB will do. Doesn't really matter. Uh, oh, I've got one with OSU one, let's just test that. Right, just plug it in. Is it going to work? Yes, it is. If you will, just after 11 ish. Yeah, that's cool, mate. Yeah, no worries. Have a good night, mate. Right, that works. Uh, so if we go to storage devices, there you go. USB SanDisk 3.2 Gen 1. That is working absolutely fine. Absolutely fine indeed. And. Let's, uh, let's grab a USB cable. Yep. Yep, 
that sinks. And finally, does the sync button actually flash? Boom. That's what I'm talking about. Blue. Cool. Everything's working. Sync button's done. HDMI is working. Display's working. Winner, winner, baby. Let's go. You get that sinking feeling. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, so you should be able to plug and unplug that now, like that look, and sync button stays on. Boom, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, buddy. Phew. <laughs> Yeah, no, the, as long as you're not rough with it, but it's the same as, same as when they're at factory as well, because those connectors are not great. It's the same as with the factory as well, that you, you can't be rough with those connectors. Right, where's my other... No, I'll find it in a minute. Stuff it. I shall find it in a minute. Yeah, you can't be rough with those connectors. They don't like it at all. Damn it, now I've got to try and... Uh... Try and get the hard drive to sit in there. But yeah, those connectors they don't like they don't like being yanked, to be honest. Right. Come on, hard drive drop in. <laughs> don't want to take it back off again. Damn it, that was lined up just. That's got it. There you go. Didn't want to take it back off. Yeah, part of the job, done that. Sometimes, sometimes we don't get paid. But we're getting paid tonight. Because every repair we do tonight is going to be a success. Okay? No worries, Stuart. Thanks for hanging out, mate. Cheers, buddy. I appreciate you hanging out, mate. Oh, I'm too lazy for that. That screw's a bit chewed.
That screws a bit chewed. It's fine, it's just that my uh this screwdriver is not the best. How have I bloody mixed all of my screws up? It's because I've been pushing the board around so much, that is. Like moving the board around on the table so much. screwed up. <laughs> I think there was a screw missing from here. One of the long screws. Almost certain there was a long screw missing. Right, that will do. That will do. This console has definitely seen better days. Right. It's scratched up to the max. Hey ho, it's all working now. Happy days. So yeah, nice and straightforward then. Uh, well, I'll say straightforward, it's not a job that everyone can do. Um, you know, we had damage to the HDMI port, trace damage, and that was causing no display, and then well, he was actually sent in as glitching display and then the sync button connector as well being damaged. But, uh, yeah, I'm happy. Happy, happy days. So that one was with the Xbox Series X from last night, which had a damaged um, Nexus connector, which is this one here. So these two consoles belong to the same customer and they've both been damaged. They both got damaged by technician damage or user damage. Well, hey ho, they're fixed now. Happy days. Uh, I will give a little discount because the customer sent more than one in. I usually give like a 15% discount when they send more than one. Well, yeah, cool. I'm happy. Happy, happy. Uh. Yellow mat giving headaches. What we talking about? Bought a yellow mat to replace his blue one, and people complain saying it's too bright and was giving him headaches. <laughs> I've done it to fuck off. Oh, no, I haven't seen that. I haven't seen that. I haven't. I haven't watched uh, much YouTube for the past few days, to be honest. Actually, to be honest. I need to resubscribe to all of the channels that I'm subscribed to because I've been using my the Code of Talks account because I've got premium on that one. Either that or just pay for premium on my normal account instead. My sentiments exactly. <laughs> yeah. Indeed. Oi, Kev. You know this is going to end up as a test disc, mate, disc, mate. If you don't hurry up and come and get it, it's going to end up as a test disc. It's not ended up as a test disc yet, but it is getting dusty. 
it's going to end up as a test disc if you don't come and get your game. Give us a song. Sarah will kill me, mate, if I wake her up. She's not well. Sarah will kill me if I wake her up, mate. She's not very well. She got the flu, apparently. I think it's just an excuse. Just don't tell her I said that. You owe me rent for that. <laughs> you owe me storage fees for that. It's going to end up as a test disc. I'm, I'm warning you. So I'll take payment in kind off your wife. Mr. Kevin. Seriously though, Kev's wife is so fit. I would tap that ass all day long. Wouldn't get off it. I don't know where he gets any work done, having an ass like that around. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, dear. Can I send in my Xbox for free? How much to send it in? What's wrong with it, mate? Don't let your missus watch the stream. Nah, we we wind each other up all the time. All right, let's work on a switch, shall we? Let's work on a Nintendo Switch. Nintendo Switch, do 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 do. Nintendo Switch, do 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 do. She's abandoned me for the last two days. So I did off to London with the dragon. Damn. You think she's in London? I've got some bad news for you, mate. <laughs> Just don't call the phone while I'm on the stream. It might come through. <laughs> Left you with the kids. Oh, mate, that's disgraceful. How can a woman possibly want to break? Oh, oh the humanity. Humanity, he's got to look after the kids. No. What's wrong with this one? <laughs> what is wrong with this one? Is she under your cupboard? No, oh, she's under the covers. <laughs> What's wrong with this one? Let me just find the... Uh... Let me just figure this out. 1186969. Not charging, apparently. Hmm. It appears to be charging to me. Internal trace damage. <laughs> Computer says no. <coughs> that appears to be charging, but let's give it a minute. What's the schedule between YouTube and Twitch? Uh, well, Monday I was just really, really tired. Um, so I didn't stream on YouTube, but YouTube is Mondays and Fridays. I'll never stream on Twitch on a Monday and Friday, and then Twitch, the reason I'll schedule really, I'll just stream when I feel like streaming. Um, you know, generally twice a week, but there's no set days or times. Charging £40 for peanut tool. <laughs> well, it's drawing point thirteen amps. Um, I'm going to give it a minute. I might go and grab another job just because I don't think there's going to be anything wrong with this. I think it literally might be. Well, I mean, it could be a charge port. I'll have a look at the charging port. Let's have a look, actually. Let's give it a wiggle. 
It is a bit loose. It is a little bit loose. Loosey goosey. No worries, Matt. So I switch with the boot, I wouldn't charge a bit for a good 40 minutes on charge. Yeah, that's the problem is like sometimes you can end up with um sometimes you can end up with it appearing to charge but not actually taking a charge. Do -ba -do, -do, do I might go and get another console. What do you guys reckon? Should I grab another one? I think I should grab a Series X. I need to see that bump up to 0 0.2 amps. Grab another. Yeah, I'm thinking that. Just give it a little bit of time. Just give it, give that a little bit of time, and I'll work on something else. So yeah, I'll be back in a minute. Don't leave me. Right. I'm back. I'm back. Right, that's bumped up to point twenty three amps. That appears to be charging. So I'm gonna pop this to one side. I'm going to work on an Xbox Series X. Cheers, Jess. So, I'll work on an Xbox Series X. 
for now. This is genuinely how it's turned up with the base already off as well. Uh, and looks like the back screws are missing. Looks a little bit mangled. Not great, is it? But apparently this isn't turning on, so we shall see. Oh wow, what's going on here? What's going on there? Yeah, that's getting that's getting the full. Uh, well, it's drawing 0.24 amps at the minute. Um, it's slow charging at the minute. Let's us all go for five minutes for a prank. <laughs> um, right, this has come all the way from Viva la France. And it looks like someone's got mad. I thought the French were, the, were a gentle people. But apparently not. Apparently the French are very aggressive. <laughs> because I wouldn't do that to my console. I would not do that to my console. Apparently it's not turning on and to be honest, I'm kind of not surprised. <laughs> I'm kind of not surprised, but let's see what's going on with it. I had to beep on beep off. Well, this is going to be interesting. Yeah, it's completely and utterly one bit result. This one's going to be interesting. Let's just see what's going on. Um, honestly, I can't help but laugh sometimes. I know I shouldn't. Oh dear. Right. Okay. First and foremost, what's the deal here with this cable? Hmm. What's the deal with that cable? Let's try a new... Um, let's try a different power board. Just for the lols. Just for the lols, let's try a different power board. Don't know if I've got this the right way. I don't think I have. Yeah, absolutely nada. Cool. Okay, okay. Let's get it apart then.
Did they try to fix it? I don't know. Not a clue. Alright, so it's not the front panel. That too screwed. That too is screwed. I don't know what the deal is with this ribbon. Do do do. Switch is quick charging now. Uh, well, that's just normal charging. 0.48 amps. Uh, when it goes up to like 0.8 amps, then it's fast charging. And we'll keep an eye on it. It could end up with a 2101 error or something like that. Like it could have an error code. Yeet. Man, I'm hungry. Oh man, what's going on here? Uh oh, this is gonna be bad. This is gonna be bad, like real bad. This console is going to be real bad. That's either been water damaged or someone's used some cheap ass flux on it. I've got a feeling someone might have used some cheap old flux on it. That that flex cable doesn't look good at all. But let's just have a look at that under the microscope actually. That flex cable does not look good. You ready? Yeah, that needs replacing. That needs replacing. First and foremost. So we're going to need a new cable for that. Is that cable what's causing the beep on beep off? Because it very well could be. But if that's corroded, it could very well be causing a beep on beep off. So... Let's... Uh, plug her in. See, this is why I don't eat in the day, because I'm starving now. And I had something to eat this afternoon. No. But this console is going to be bad, I've got a feeling. I've got a feeling this is going to be covered in flux. And it's going to be really, really cheap Lyco flux, like that really cheap plumber's flux, to be honest which is very acidic and it is not good for PCBs at all. I'd give up now if I was you. Yeah, you know what? You got a point. I'm thinking I'm going to have a look at it. I'm not going to I'm not going to rule anything out until I've actually seen it. It's worth a look at least. It's definitely worth a look. Right, it's going to take me what ten minutes to to take a look. I may as well. I can't just give up without looking at it. I mean, it has come all the way from France, and the problem is the customer's going to have to pay for it to go back to France as well. 
So the least I can do is look. Oh yeah, I can usually tell when they're going to be a shambles. I can usually tell. I've got a screw missing there. I'll at least look at it. But this is going to be one of those where I just don't waste that much time on it as well, though. Like, I'm not going to be spending more than 30 minutes on this. Unless I can see the problem pretty much straight away, I'm not spending more than 30 minutes on it. It's just not worth it. What's happened to that power supply connector? Why has that been twisted? What's happened to the power supply connector? Okay, something weird's happened to this. That's been that's heat shrinked, and so is this side. Whoa, that power supply is dangerous. Right, that's just booted. And it's turning on. That power supply is dangerous. We're going exposed neutral wire. And then what's the deal here? What what's going on with this? Right, this power supply is dangerous. Like really dangerous. That's not good. It's not good at all. That is a bare neutral wire right there. Not good at all. Bear in mind that is on AC. That power supply can't be used. Like who in the right mind has done this? Who in the right mind would ever do this? Like no, just don't. Look at it. Literally a bare exposed wire right there. Just no. No, 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 no. If this gets repaired, the only way that I'm repairing this is by changing the power supply as well. There is no way on earth I am being responsible for that power supply. Hell no. I am not being responsible for that power supply.
I think you might find this is now turning on. But with no LED. Or maybe not. Is it or isn't it? I think it might be. I think this might be turning on, but with no LED or fan, I can see damage on those connectors. Yep. Yep, it's turning on, but we've got no fan spin and we've got no LED. I'm glad that's the power supply that's causing that. I'm glad that is the power supply that's causing that. That could have fucking killed me. I should have been warned about that. I should have been warned about that. That could literally... Th this is no exaggeration here. I should have been told about that. The customer should have written that on the ticket. It's obvious it's been modified. The customer should have written on the ticket that the power supply has been repaired. Because that could have killed me. And that is no exaggeration. That neutral wire is live. Just because it's neutral, it's still hot. It is still hot. That could have killed me. And I'm not happy at all at that. In future, if someone sends me something like this, they're getting a £50 fee just for putting me at risk. That's going to go on my website tomorrow. If someone sends me something like this in future, they're going to get a £50 fee just for putting my life in danger. Whether or not I fix it. Because that is absolutely ridiculous. That should not have been sent. Absolutely ridiculous. Putting someone's life in danger like that is unacceptable. Just because that's a neutral wire, it does not mean that it's not going to cause it cause a shock. I'm not happy at that at all. In fact, I'm I'm quite pissed at that. To be honest, I am quite pissed off just at the fact that they've even sent that without pre-warning me because I've just plugged that wire in. I have literally just plugged this power supply in while holding this. No, it's more of a more of a deterrent, Ryan. It's more of a de it's more of a deterrent, mate. I'm not happy with that. I am actually pissed. Look, I don't get I don't get annoyed very often, but I am seriously pissed at that. I'm not happy at all.
yeah, you can still get 240 volts on neutral. The entire the entire point of the neutral is to provide a return path. The entire point of neutral is to provide a return path. I'm not happy at that at all. So in future, if ever I get anything like that, there's a £50 fee just for sending it. Whether or not I fix it. So that's going to go on my website tomorrow. He comments a class. <laughs> Was that another repair shop? I don't know. I don't know, mate. That's a piss take. Like that is a genuine piss take. What's more? Who does this? Seriously? Look, really? Come on. So for some reason we have no fan spin as well. Yeah, I would say modifying a PSU, even if you know what you're doing, modifying a PSU is a no-no anyway, no matter what. No matter what, it's a big no-no. Like, don't modify your PSU ever. Whether you know what you're doing or not. I actually could pass a Sparky course if I wanted to. I could probably become a Sparky. And I wouldn't ever do that. I would never do that. That is fucking dangerous. Whether it's live or neutral, it doesn't matter. doesn't matter whether it's live or neutral. The point is, it's still hot. What a surprise. What a surprise we've got damaged traces. Why am I not surprised here? Like, seriously, like, why am I not surprised?
I don't actually know where these pins go. Well, I'm dropping a few frames, guys. I'm going to give it a minute until this um, connection stabilizes. It's not my internet, my internet's fine. I think it's stabilised. Send it back, no fix. No, I'm gonna try and fix it. I've just risked my life, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna not fucking fix it now. Like I've If I if I don't fix this now then I've just risked my life for nothing. Let's be honest. That will be silly. Like. Yeah, if I don't fix this now, then I've risked my life for nothing. I know that sounds a little bit dramatic, but it is true. Look, I'm not just trying to be dramatic here, it's true. Hope Sender sees the stream and me to be honest. And me to be honest. Whether it causes me to get a bad review or not, what's happened here is unacceptable. You risk your own life, do what you want, don't risk someone else's. That's the way I see it. Do what you want with your own life, couldn't give a shit. Don't risk someone else's. Right. Try to welcome, mate. Could have been bad news. Yeah. 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 And imagine, not just me. Like, not just me. Let's let's say, for example, I electrocute myself live on stream in front of 300 people the kind of trauma that would cause for every single person watching well maybe maybe there's a few people that would probably um, take great pleasure in seeing it but yeah Let's say 300 people like to see that live as well. I 
and I get it. It's not technically that's not technically the custom down to the customer. You know, seeing it live. It's not like I ask permission to do these streams with customers stuff. That's what I don't understand about some other creators. They ask permission to make a video on it. And I'm like, no, don't need permission. Do not need permission to make a video. I do what the hell I want. You most do repairs from your website or via YouTube. Um, all of my repairs come from YouTube. I don't advertise at all. Um, but a lot of my repairs that I do normally just come from other businesses. But I don't advertise. I don't do any kind of advertising at all. I don't have time, honestly. Genuinely don't have the time. But yeah, all of my own customers, like my own customers, they all come from YouTube. Right, so I'm just literally running jumper wires here, by the way, just so I can restore the traces to this uh, connector. And then once I've done that, I can put the connector back on. So I'm not replacing the connector, I'm just going to solder it properly. There we go.
Right, let's put some conformal coating on this. So the conformal coating, what that's going to do is it's just going to protect the jumper wire. Well, just as soon as I get rid of this bridge that I've created. There you go. Just get rid of that bridge. Make sure that we don't have an issue with that. And I believe I've done the same over that other one as well. Yep, I have indeed. Don't want to be doing that. There you go. I can get rid of that random jumper wire that sat on there in a second. Uh, I think I've done it on all of them. Just cut the wire a little bit too far. There you go. There we go, UV light time, honestly feels like all I've done today is use this UV light, but oh well, Got electrocuted in your ear, Jesus Christ. Right. Let's just check that. Nope, not cured yet. Damn it. Keep going off because I'm using this charger with two devices. One's running at 5 volts, one's running at 15. Sunglasses at hand, yep. Time for a suntan. That's 300 people to remind him if he forgets in the future. Uh, reminds me of what, mate? I'm not the best in the business, mate. I, d I don't agree with that. There's a lot more... Smarter people than me. Here comes the sun. <laughs> oh, the the camera. It's not the camera that's causing it to be blurry, mate. It's the um, it's the fact that the the this board in particular is there's no way to balance it without putting it on a board holder. Stripped wires. Oh yeah. Yeah, I agree. 
I'm good, thanks, Scoot. How are you, mate? I'm good. Has anyone noticed? I do the jumper wires and then I'm just nice and relaxed. Running jumper wires kind of like chills me out. Yeah, so the reason it's blurry is because, I mean, look at how wobbly it is, like, the board itself. Like, it, it's, like, ridiculous. Like, it's really hard to keep these boards steady. Right, that's, uh solid enough, I'd say. That is solid enough. Add some flux. I've just ordered a whopping hundred and fifty of these. These uh, Nexus connectors. Just ordered a hundred and fifty of these today. Use hot air. I will be, mate. I'm just fixing up this connector first. Just got to fix up the connector. So, the connector itself is not in... Well, the solder on the connector is not in great shape. So, I'm just going to run the iron over it. And just fix that up. Like that. Damn it. Oi, get in position. Stop it. Oh, I hate them random hand twitches. There we go. That's lined up. Right. Let's hover the board over the edge of the table. And I'm going to weigh it down as well. I'm just going to heat up from the bottom to do this. Beautiful. Beautiful.
Right. Let's just give this a good clean. HF transceiver boards. I've never tried them, mate. Never tried them. Any news on the house move? Not yet, mate, no. We've been upgraded to gold band on the um, local housing association. Well, we're in the process of being upgraded to gold band. Um, let's have a look, see if they've done it. I'm not gonna show you my screen. For obvious reasons. When I move, by the way, my no, we're still silver at the minute. But we have um, we have updated, we have uploaded the section 21 to the um, portal, so we're waiting to be updated, upgraded. Um, yeah, when I move, my address is no longer going to be public. By the way, everything's going to be done through. Oh, that's wait, what? How are these pins not connected? How are these pins not connected? What the fuck? Really? Really? Yeah, my, my address is no longer going to be public for obvious reasons when I move. Reflow it. Uh, I should be able to just touch it with the soldering iron. Um, if I add some solder to the iron. Ooh. Ugh. Right. That one's not connected. Should be now. I think that pad might be loose. I 
I'll check it in diode mode on the multimeter and see if I get a reading. I think the pad might have actually been lifted off the board, but still there, if that makes sense. I don't think that's connected to anywhere. Same with that one. Well, this is just a high reading. Yeah, 2.6 volts I'm getting as a voltage drop, which is why it's not beeping. Same with that one, 2.6. All right, yeah, they are connected. They're just high readings. Cool. The reason I test the top of the pin is because if I hear a beep, then I know it's got a reading. I know it's got some sort of a diode reading if I hear a beep. And the ones that I don't hear a beep on, I'll check it manually. And they're all connected now. Right. need to refill the coffee cup. I need food to be honest mate, I'm starving. I want to try and get one more repair done after this one before I call it a night. I like to do three repairs minimum on uh, on the live stream if I can. It all depends, If I mean if this works now then I can always put it back together tomorrow but uh, I'll do it tonight. Right. 
Let's get a safe power supply, shall we? I mean, that power supply is scrap. You can't use that. You can't use that at all. Right, let's give it a quick test and then I'll put it back together for the other test. Alright. Hmm. We got nothing. What the? Got nothing. What the same gone? No, shouldn't have done. Have we got no power now? Beauty by sound. All good. It's all good. Well, have we just got no beep? Should be working. I can hear it, I can hear the power supply. So unless this connector just had it, something's not right. I think the connector's damaged. But I think that connector's wamboozled. Um.
connection is turning on where it is now, but we've still got no light. The eject button works, but we've still got no LED. I need to figure out what pin the LED is actually on. Um, Right, Nexus. Uh, let me load up Discord. Let me get a. Let me go into the files and get series X schematic. Page 21. Okay, right. Let's make sure that's showing up. Yeah, all right. So, Nexus connector. We have... Uh... We have power switch, eject switch, LED nexus goes to pin six. The LED goes to pin six. Connector corroded. No, unless it's this board. This board might be faulty. Eh? Um, but there is always that. I can't rule it out anyway. Because that board is the one that I swapped out last night. So while I was on Twitch last night, I had a console which had, um, what do you call it, uh, corrosion because of vape juice. Um, I'll be doing a video on that soon. But it's had corrosion because of vape juice and half the components are damaged on it, to be honest. So... Yeah. Huh. I think it's a connector. Yeah, I think the connectors connected.
Right. So, pin one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. That is definitely connected. Man, that's solid. <laughs> that can form more coatings absolutely solid. Just get rid of this. Let's redo the jumper wires completely. Completely redo the jumper wires. Why not? If it still don't work, then it's going to be... Very locally down to the connector itself. Is this to chill with fill channel? Indeed. Indeed.
Right, there we go. I won't worry about cleaning that for now. Let's just test it. Let's just test it. I'm going to use that board because this one's got components missing off it, so I don't know if the LED actually works. I need to fop that off. Ha! Terrible solder by the coder. That's what it was. It was terrible solder by the colder. The colder? That's <laughs> the colder. <laughs> Boom. Turn off, bitch. I said turn off, dickhead. Time for a smoke, that's what it's time for. You shit at soldering, I am indeed. I am indeed. Well, I think that it's time to put this back together. Well, it will be. It will be time to put it back together once I can form or coat those wires. As soon as I can form or coat those wires. One way to clean it. Now I'll make a drink once I've uh, finished this job, mate. Once I've finished the job, I'll make a drink.
Rollden. Huh. Have I just lost that? Really? Really? You really gonna do me like that, huh? You really gonna do me like that, huh? Are you taking the absolute piss? Are you taking the absolute piss? <laughs> Loose wire, yeah. Well, the pad's just lifted. Actually, to be fair, I'm glad that happened because if it didn't happen, it would have probably happened sometime in the future when it goes back. Actually, no, the pad hasn't lifted, sorry. Just not enough solder on it. Not enough solder on it. Funny thing is, that was pin six again. Which is the LED pin. <laughs> so I would have put it back together and not had any LED. Oh, I was just a bubble. Never mind. Yeah, I would have put it back together and had no LED. That's pretty funny. Right. Let's drop uh, the UV light back on it as soon as I figure out where the hell I've just put it. Where did I put my UV light? Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Where did I put it? 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 
Damn, I've lost my UV light. It's right in front of my eyes. It's right in front of my eyes. This shit's gonna... Yeah, I was just about to say that's gonna turn off on me. Stupid power, USB power delivery crap. Yeah, no worries, Ellis. Cheers for hanging out, buddy. I appreciate you, mate. Thanks, dude. You've got it. Ha. Well, that will do. Hmm. What? What? For fuck's sake, are you serious? I actually need a new Nexus connector. Is that an issue with the console itself? No, conformal coating is not conductive, mate. Is that an issue with the console itself? Or is it an issue with this power supply? Um 
it don't seem to make a lot of sense because I haven't touched any of the power pins. I'm wondering if it's an issue with the power supply. To be honest. Or, sometimes the power supply actually does go into safe mode, saying that. Like into uh, some sort of protection mode. No, it's not that. Oh, damn it. It is a V2 board, never mind. Um, let me find another power supply quickly, just in case that power supply is faulty. No, it needs a friggin' Nexus connector, doesn't it? <sighs> no, it was turning on. Um, literally, I redid those jumper wires and now it's not. But it was turning on and working absolutely fine. Have I got another board with that connector on it? I believe so. Is that a V1 or V2? I think it's a V1. That's a V1. I really hope these Nexus connectors that I buy that I've bought don't take long to arrive. 
yeah. Yeah, it's an issue with the connector. It is an issue with the connector. All right. Damn it. I would love to know what chip is actually married on these boards, by the way. I would love to know what is actually married on those boards. Could be flux. But what I don't understand with these is there's there's something on these boards that that is married, and we don't know what. Could be that chip there, or that chip. I don't know. Right, but I do have a, uh, another Nexus connector just in case. I'll try cleaning this one out. Hmm. Those pads are incredibly weak. Like all the pads are weak. Hmm. Hmm. The pads are really weak. They're just not great at all. Oh shit. Yeah, that connector's fucked. 
That connects is fucked. It now seems to think it's okay to let out magic smoke. So that connect is bamboozled. Did I miss much? Not really. Yeah, that entire connector needs changing. I really hope they don't take long for my Nexus connectors to turn up. Yeah, so that connector definitely needs changing. Son of a bitch. I should have quit while I was ahead on this. But no, I'd rather do the job properly, even if it means going back and doing it again. Because I could have sent that back, someone could have taken it apart, and then it's going to fail again as soon as someone takes it apart. So I'd rather do it now and actually get it working properly. I guess I'm not going to be doing a third repair tonight. Morning push. I could hear it buzzing, yeah. Yeah, it was letting out the magic smoke. And I think I know why. I think it's because that ground wire is loose. I think it's because that ground trace there is loose. All right. Okay. Right, let me grab 
Well, let me just take this board off. I need to harvest the connector. Like I said, I've bought 150 of these connectors, but until they actually turn up, I need to harvest one. So I'm hoping they don't take more than a few days. Because if anyone sends any jobs in for Nexus connectors, they're going to have to be put on hold. I don't think I've got any more after this one. Just unscrewing this from the uh, the board, from the uh, housing. There's a pulse strike. Um, yeah, but it's only certain days. I only ordered them today, but they're coming from Japan. They are coming from Japan. So they're going to take a little while to get out. But that just means that if I do get any repair requests for this particular job, they're going to have to be put on hold, unfortunately. Because I'm not paying £15 a connector. Well, I could, but the customer would have to pay for it. If I pay fifty pound, fifteen pound a connector, the customer's got to pay me like ninety quid just to get the job done. Damn it, I just dropped the freaking syringe out of my flux. I'm trying to do everything one handed now.
Um, no, it's not. It's not touching anywhere. That's shorting out, mate. No. I think that connected with probably just one boozle, to be honest. Because it had already had a prior repair attempt on that connector when I got to it as well. So it's had a fair amount of heat put into it. That pad, those some of those pads are real loose. Under the connector, no, I know where you mean. It's not, it's not touching anything anywhere that's shorting out because there's nothing exposed there, or it shouldn't be. I will check it, but I know where you mean. Um, you're talking about pin six. Yeah, I got like, I got a reading of like 0.89 in voltage mode. Uh, continuity mode. To ground, there's no continuity on any of the jumper wires. That is ground. Uh, let me just double check. Uh, so, if I'm looking here, from left to right. We've got pin one and two is ground, pin four is ground, pin six is ground. One, two, four and six are meant to be ground, the rest are not. So we should be getting continuity, well it's actually pin ten, but ten, nine, seven and five, but Yeah, no, no shorts to ground there on anything that is not meant to be. No shorts to ground anywhere that is not meant to be. Uh, I'll stuff it. Stuff it. Stuff it. <laughs> One way to do it. Not screwing it back in now until it until I see it working. Until I see it working. Not being screwed back in. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, that's a bit of a balancing act, though. There you go. There you go. That'll do it. Now I'll put it back into the frame.
Now I'll put it back in the frame. Work, you bitch. <laughs> yeah, I just couldn't be asked to put it back into the frame again until I knew it was working. Right. Where's my plate gone? There. This took way longer than it should have done. There we go. What the hell? <laughs> Where's that come from? Ow, that's sharp. Computer boot is streaming yet, guys. Does anyone know if computer boot is streaming? Ugh, it's already had fresh thermal paste. It's already had fresh thermal paste. Yeet. Right. 
it's the law to put fresh thermal paste on when you finish any, finishing a job. Just as um, an FYI to anyone wondering, it is against the law to not put fresh thermal paste on. You will get arrested, and it does carry a mandatory death sentence. So, always put fresh thermal paste on because we are law-abiding citizens. And if we are law-abiding citizens, then we need to put fresh thermal paste on. Just saying. I'm just saying. Yeet. Whoops. There we go. Fresh thermal paste. A nice new Nexus connector. Brand new certified used. Brand new certified used. One more repair. No, it's quarter past three in the morning. This one's not done anyway. I need to figure out if this needs a fan as well. If this needs a fan as well, it's going to be an expensive repair. Because the fan wasn't spinning earlier on. Right, so this was missing a screw. Right, it was missing a couple of green screws as well, but it's missing one of the lung screws. Eat shit.
What the? Hmm. Well, that screw thread's knackered. I guess it don't get one of those screws. Or is it the screw? It's the wrong freaking screw. Oh, I'm an idiot. Cause I'm an idiot, idiot, I just dropped my screw. Stuff it. Let's grab another one cause I'm a lazy shit. Right, was it missing a... Hmm, he was missing a black screw as well. Yeet! Where's my sorry board gone? There it is, thanking you. There we go. Hmm. Might help if I put the uh, the uh PSU strap on the right way. Oh, I'm sick of Series X's now. To be honest. Right. What's the deal with this ribbon cable here? Does it need a new one? I believe it does. Because this one was corroded to hell. Absolutely corroded to hell and back. So I'll change the ribbon, and then if they're not willing to pay for it, then they'll get their old one back. Because they cost 15 quid each for one of them ribbons. They're not cheap. They are not cheap at all. So if they're not willing to pay for it, then I'll have to put the original back in. But for the sake of completion... I need to change it. This repair is adding up, let's put it that way.
Now I've got to remember which way this actually goes. But yeah, this repair is adding up and it's not going to be cheap. I don't even know how much it's going to cost yet. I need to work it out. Seen a couple of screws. Where have you gone? Where have them screws gone? Stuff it. I'll find it later. find them later it's not a big deal at the moment the main question that I'm going to be asking now is does this work now that it's all been put back together does it work It works, it turns on, and yep, fan spinning, cool, sweet, absolutely sweet. Right, let me just go to studio mode, game capture, let's plug in a HDMI. So we don't need a fan. That's good. Right, I need to log out uh, of somehow cut my hand. I don't know how. Right, okay. Let me Okay, sync button works. Does it sync? It does. Inject button works. I haven't connected the disk drive up yet. Uh, settings. No, I don't want settings. Um, side out. There we go. All right. Now I can show you it working. Boom. Boom. She be working. She be working. Right, okay. There is a picture, mate, yes. Indeed. Does it pick up 4K? Yep, it's not going to work in 4K, not even going to test it. It's on the, uh, what do you call it? It's on the capture card, so it's not going to work in 4K. Pick up Wi-Fi. Ugh. Cool. It'll get a full test before it goes back out anyway. 
I've got the weekend. I've got the weekend. It is Saturday after all. Cool. That will do nicely. Happy days. If they, if they want to get real fancy, I could always swap the case for them. <laughs> Oi. Ah, stuff it. I'll line it. Ugh, now it lines up. Yeah, if they want to get real fancy, I could always swap the case for them. Seems like this one's got a nice big juicy hole in it. I will upsell that to them, by the way. I am going to upsell selling a case to them. Do you want to buy a nice new case, sir? Oh, look, there's a disc in there. Ha. It's not lined up. He's not lined up. Hmm. This drive might be faulty because that was lined up then. Oh well. I'll deal with that another time. It might need, it might need a disk drive because that was lined up that time. But you know, well, I'm assuming, yeah, he's not streaming. Never mind. All right, right, guys. It is three thirty. That took way longer than it should. Um, out from the case it works uh, let's try it actually let's try that let's try it out the case just to know for sure just to know for sure A little bit dodgy. See that or the disc just jammed. It might just be the fact that the disc jammed. Let's have a look quickly. Let's have a look. Oh, it thinks there's a disc in there, but there's not. It thinks there's one in there, but there's not. Well, I'll deal with that another time. I'm not going to worry about that. Oh, well. Right, guys and girls... Uh, oh, that camera's turned off. Ugh. 
not turning it back on. <laughs> um, yeah, it's 3.30am, guys and girls. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you all for hanging out. I really do appreciate it. That took way longer than, I, than it should have done. Um, but it is what it is, I suppose. So, yeah, completely destroyed. Absolutely butchered. Not Really not sure what the hell someone was thinking. But, hey-ho. It is what it is, I suppose. But, yeah, thank you all for hanging out. I really do genuinely appreciate it. Um, yeah. I'm going to go and grab something to eat and then I'm going to grab and then I'm going to head to bed. So, good night everyone, take care. And uh happy repairs. <laughs> See you later guys. Good night.